Hey YouTube, this is the uh, Surefire X300 Ultra. Uh, this is a thousand lumen output, you can see right there. Runtime is supposed to be 1.25 hours. Um, I never keep track of that, so hopefully that's pretty accurate. Uh, we're gonna see how it fits today on a Glock and on a six hour P226. Sorry, the table's kinda loud, but it is what it is. Um, so, box instructions. Specification says that it is total internal reflection lens. That's cool. Uh, I don't really care about the specs of it as long as it's bright. And um, this is going to be a boxing today. I'm going to try and go out and shoot at night next weekend and uh, make a video for how well it holds up. So if you want to read more of the description, you can pause the video. Again, uh, 1000 lumens, 1.25 hours runtime. It says it waterproof to 1 meter for 30 minutes. I guess if you wanted to drop it, or if you're super high speed and you're diving or something. So open it up. Box is empty. Uh, I like how Surefire packages things. Pretty nice presentation. Uh, it always stays in pretty good shape. So, before you get the fun stuff, here's the paperwork. Uh, looks like a small mini pamphlet about some more products. I like the holster, um, handgun, light is probably pretty cool, but can't afford it right now, so, X300. Base construction manual, uh, goes over the specs again. Don't really care about it. Uh, I guess if you're interested, small spec, hard, and uh, aluminum, doesn't say aluminum, but you can assume. The weight is four ounces, the length is 3.6 inches, bezel diameter is 1.125. And it takes two 123A lithium batteries. Switching is ambidextrous, uh, probably on both sides based on the toggle. Um, I have an Ultra back home. It is one of the 600 lumen ones. It's got an older one. It has a, a light in, or a laser integrated into it as well. Battery warning. Um, I'm not going to go over this. If you're not familiar with how batteries work, you should look into it. Okay, so out of the box, this is the Alpha model. Uh, looks like it's denoted there with the A. Let's open it up real quick. Okay, so should work now. We took the little battery switch off there. Uh, indicated plus minus, so we didn't have to mess around with it. That just comes off there. Huh, didn't expect that to happen at all, but whatever. Um, okay, so push that back on, close it up. It does work. Yep, that is pretty bright. Um, all right, so. It is a toggle switch, so I'll point it away for a second or else cover it up. Um, ambidextrous toggle switch, you push it this way or this way with your finger while it's on the gun. I've heard really great things about this because it's super fast to attach with this type of rail method. And the Alpha, I believe, is supposed to work better on kind of the Glock series, whereas the Bravo is supposed to work better on uh, metal frame. So we're gonna test it on both today and see how that works. These look like some sort of inserts that you can swap out if you were looking to play with its ability to go into different weapons. Looks like some holding a Loctite, uh, thread locker. That's cool. I don't know where you use it for. I don't know what you need thread lock on this for. Maybe it's just for if you swap out some of these parts. So, Glock is clear for today's purposes. SIG is clear for today's purposes. So going to the Glock first, um, slide it on, push down, positive retention, uh, does it wiggle much? It's got a little bit of wiggle room. You can turn it on and off, looks like pretty easily. I'm not left handed at all, but I'm sure you're used to it. It works fine. Um, now a big thing that I have with the Ultra that I have back home is uh, when you shoot it every now and then, I had a can on and it would not stay on there all the time. Like one in 30 rounds, it would just fly off on its own until it snapped the retaining screw that went across. It was on a PT26 and uh, they sent me a, a better fastener of some kind and it did fix the issue, but it was disappointing at first. So I'll be happy to know how it works on this. Here it is on a PT26. That had pretty snappy click to it. Yeah. 
doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Um, definitely feels solid on this one. So that's uh, nice to know. Again, easy to flick on and off. I'd probably push down uh, if I needed to use it in some sort of a gunfight, but uh, does it stand on by its own or on its own? Cool. In case you're an Instagrammer and you like posting cool photos of yourself, Yes, it will stand on its own. You can take all kinds of cool Instagram photos. Good for you. Um, this is a Gen 5 Glock. I have a Gen 2 or 3 sitting around here somewhere, so I'm gonna grab that real quick, and we'll see how it adapts to that. All right, so I think this is a Gen 2, maybe a Gen 3 frame. Um, it, uh, it's got this Zev slide on there and some kind of fancy barrel. I don't know that much about it. Um, my buddy gave me a slide. I put this on there just because it had the cutout, and who cares? I did the sibling myself. It was just something fun to do. But sometimes the newer gear doesn't work for the older stuff as well. So let's see. So you can get it to sit on there, but definitely didn't want to. Definitely a lot tighter. So like right here, it's not engaging a whole lot. And then I really push on it. You can get it on there, so it'll probably work just fine. Um, yeah, still able to manipulate and use. Ability to stand on its own, undaunted. Yeah, this is kind of, sounds silly, this is kind of my beater block because I just don't, it's a, I paid like a hundred bucks for this thing, maybe 200 bucks as a blue label trade-in, so yeah. Um, that's the unboxing. That's everything that came with today. Uh, based on how I just went on to those two, I don't really know what this was for. Um, I'll grab a rifle real quick and we'll see how it acts on a Picatinny roll. All right, so real quick, um, here is a, is that in the frame? Yeah. Here's a thing on the fence with a circle on it. So it'll be interesting to see if it goes on that just fine. It is a standard, so I probably get loud for a second, but yeah, fits on there just great. So I guess you wanted to, you run on one of these. Um, manipulation wouldn't be awesome because your on and off wouldn't be super accessible. And if you're holding like this, probably pretty awkward to get up to there, but the shorter rifle, the right setup, or if you want to put it down here and uh, forego the bipod, might be a good option. So, yeah, thanks for watching. This is the Surefire X300 uh, 1000 lumen A model. And there you go. Okay, so I paid $249 for this thing at Optics Planets. Uh, I'm sure I got it on sale because they have all kinds of discounts there all the time. But yeah, um, I would recommend using just the Surefire batteries with this. Again, these are the CR123As, the little chubby guys that are worth their weight in some kind of precious metal. But yeah, I'm gonna try and shoot a video coming up of how it works in the dark and how it performs when it's being fired with because sometimes a light in conjunction with actual use, uh, they just fly off and that's disappointing. So there it is. Super fast put on, super fast take off. Um, no tools required, which is nice. You keep this thing in your pocket if you had to and just throw it on there. Um, obviously, if you're a cop, you probably wouldn't do that because you probably need to use it more often than that. But yeah, that's uh, it's pretty slick.